Hi everyone, this is Caesar with SmartBlogging.net. By now I'm hoping that you've already done your keyword research using either Market Samurai or the Google Keyword Tool and have found a profitable keyword that you want to target on your blog. So what I'm about to do is show you some basic SEO things that you absolutely must do to help you rank higher in the search engines for those terms. And these are 1. Keyword in the post title. 2. Keyword within the content. 3. Keyword in the H1, H2, and H3 tags. 4. Keyword in the URL of the post. And 5. Keyword in the meta tags, including title, description, and keyword meta tags. These 5 very basic steps are essential for getting higher rankings in the search engines. So I'm going to show you an easy way to include all of these things in your blog post using a powerful SEO plugin called WordPress SEO. So let's do that right now. Okay, so let's... Um, Type here. Let's get into the dashboard of our blog. Once we're there, um, over here on the left, you see under plugins, click on add new, and we're going to search for WordPress SEO. Just got to make sure you've selected search up here on the top link on these links up here. Click on search, and then it brings you to this window. So now, okay, so WordPress SEO, do a search for that. And the very first one on the list, it's the one we want WordPress SEO by Yoast. This is by far the best SEO, a free SEO plugin that I've seen that I've used. Highly recommend it. There's other ones. Uh, I believe the SEO all-in-one pack is pretty good. Um, but I'm going to let you know why I like this one in a few minutes once uh, I get it, get it installed and up and running. So actually, I've already have it installed. So um, just go ahead and click the install button that appears here. It'll say install now, like the one right below here. Click install now, that's going to install it, and the next window that's going to pop up, it's the activation window. Just go ahead and click on activate plugin, and that should do it. And then um, once that's done, go ahead and click, go up here under posts and click on add new. Okay, we're going to create a new post, and that'll bring you to a brand new post window. All right, copy the content into my post. I've already labeled what I'm going to have as my h1, my h2, and my h3 tags. So I know this is going to be my title, so I'm going to copy that, paste it up here, delete that. Oops. Okay. Then, um, as you can see here, this is my h2 tag. And my keywords for this particular article, um, I have them written down over here. Basic SEO tips and SEO tips for WordPress blog. These are the, the, the two keyword phrases that I'm going to use within the content. And I want to make sure that whatever I do, I, I place these keywords in, in all the right places so that Google, Yahoo, Bing, and all the other search engines can easily identify this post and will know exactly what it's about. Okay, so here we have SEO tips, SEO tips for WordPress blog. All right, so as you can see on the title, I do have that. Basic SEO tips, SEO tips, and SEO tips for WordPress blog. Those are my two main keywords. And, um, so, and also within my H2 tag, basic SEO tips and SEO tips for WordPress. It's, it's a combination of two phrases within one. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here with this title. Uh, so what I do here, I, this is my H2 tag. So let's turn that into an H2 tag and click over here where it says paragraph and hit and click on, whoa, okay, let's fix that. So let's, usually when you hit enter, it'll solve that problem. Yeah, and you can always backspace your way up there. So now this is our H2 tag, as you can see, heading two. As soon as you highlight that, you'll know that it's uh, heading two. Just keep in mind, sometimes uh, when you when you create a new post, your post will look some something like this, and the second row of icons is not there. All you have to do is click on this icon over at the end here, the one that says Show Hide Kitchen Sink. You click on that, and then the second row of icon shows up, and that's where the Heading 2 tag is usually placed. Uh, so here we go. So now we want to also turn our H3 tag on. Um, again, our keyword is also within the content here. Okay, SEO tips for WordPress. So we want to make sure that we highlight that. And turn this into an H3 tag. 
Now the way that this works is normally like this. You have your title of your blog, which is the H1 tag. That's like the main title of your blog post. And then you have a subtitle within the content. So five basic SEO tips for WordPress. Okay, that's your subtitle of the main title. And then typically what you do with the H3 tag, if there's an, uh, like a subtitle even below that, which is what I've created here, additional meta tag and SEO tips for WordPress. That fits right underneath this subtitle for the H2 tag. That's why I created an H3 tag for that because it's, it's sort of related to the H2 heading um, or the H2 title and that's the way you use that normally. It's, it's, it's a way to keep your content organized and Google really appreciates that and if you do that more often then you will create a lot of relevancy within your content that's necessary uh, for them to, um, to rank you higher in the search engines. Uh, so here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and bold these as they're also little headlines with it for bullet points within for what I'm talking about. Bold those. Now you also want to uh, consider bolding certain keywords uh, or, or let's say for example on this one in particular the SEO tips for WordPress blog, SEO tips for WordPress here, you can bold that. Okay, you can tell if it's bolded if it's if it's if this little icon is sunk in, right? You can can you tell that? You're not going to see much of a difference within the title itself. It's because the font already looks bold. But if you look over here in the HTML code under five uh, basic SEO tips for WordPress, let me see where is that? Here we go. Five basic SEO tips for WordPress, and what that did it added a strong tag to that keyword and that's really good because that also tells Google that um, that this keyword is is of importance and that's why you bolded it so the more you bold within your content it's also good you want to make sure you do that for you especially your keywords so here we have basic SEO tips for your WordPress blog right definitely want to bold that also um, let me see if there's anything else anywhere on the, in the content of this post. Uh, you just have to kind of go through it and here we have five very basic SEO tips for WordPress blog. Bold that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now we have the title. Okay. Oh, and here, this is what I was going to show you before. Um, you want to make sure that the title of your blog post also contains the keyword phrase. So if we click on edit, basic SEO tips, WordPress blog. Now my keyword is, um, and I have it written down over here, it's uh, basic SEO tips and SEO tips for WordPress blog. Okay, that's my long tail keyword. So basic SEO tips for WordPress blog. It's missing the four. Um, you can get away with not having it in there. Sometimes it makes your URL a little too long, but I personally like to have it in there because the plugin, as I'm going to show you in just just a second, it's going to tell me how many um, whether or not it's in the URL, and if it's missing the four, then it's going to flag that. So I, I like to keep it in there.